Okay, some are yet to join, but doesn't matter. Let's start. So what we were discussing, what we were discussing last day, we just discussed about uh, these things. And let me remind what we have just learned. We just learn about internet. Internet is the world's largest network. World's largest network. We all are connected to the internet. Uh, and we actually, we have learned that as a network of network. So what is a network? So can you remember what is a network? Yes. What is a network? That is easy. Yes. Network. What is a network? What do you mean by a network? Okay, I'll ask one question from Desandi. Desandi, do you have friends? Yes. Yes, okay. So why you have friends? What are the benefits of having friends? Is there any benefit or no benefit? Desandi? Any benefits? So why we have friends? Is there any benefits? No benefits. Uh, we can uh, uh, share. Oh, we can share things. Good. We can Google. share. Things. Yes, we can share. We things. can ask some questions. Yes, we can ask notes. some questions. Okay. We can ask for notes. Uh, okay. Anyway, the first one thing is we can share things. And we can communicate, we can ask questions, ask information, ask about the new uh, notes, etc. Those are some modes of communication. No? So actually, the benefits of having friends. So one benefit is we can communicate. Another benefit is we can share. Similarly, why computers are connected? Similar, right? Think about your life. Think about your life, how you are dealing with your friends. Similar to, similar to that situation, the computers are dealing with the other computers. Similar to that, the computers are dealing with the other computers. So how these computers are working? Computers are dealing with other computers. So why? Because they can communicate. So one thing is they can communicate. Computers They can communicate. Another thing, they can say, share resources. The computers can share resources. What are the resources that computers can share? One of the computers will share Karana Pulwan resources. What are the resources that computers can share? Can you tell a few? Internet. Internet. Very good. Yes, very good. Internet. Computers can share internet. Uh, let's say you have two mobile phones in your home. Uh, you are uh, mom's, mama's mobile and your dad's mobile. Your mother's mobile and your father's mobile. So both are smartphones. Both can share one internet connection. And maybe you have your computer or tablet or another phone that you are using that also can share the same internet connection. So internet sharing is one important thing of networks. The internet share, internet is a resource that you can share. Any other resource that you can share through the networks or internet? What are the other resources? What are the other resources? Messages. Yeah, messages. Basically, data. Data and information you can share. There are data information share. Internet share. And not only that, even printers can be shared. Even hard disk can be shared. Memory can be shared. Processor can be shared. Are they okay? Computer okay? resources. A lot of resources are there which can be shared within the computers. So in your in your home, at your home, actually, there is a small network. At least you have two mobile phones at your home. Neither. All of you have like uh, such environment. Nowadays, right? Minimum. Minimum means you will have two computer, two phones. Actually, these mobile phones are also computers, right? Don't forget that these are microcomputers. Mobile phones are also computers. We learned that. The mobile phones are also computers. Therefore, 
if you have two or more connected computers, we can call that a network. If you are connected to the computers, you can connect to the network. If you are connected to the phone, you can connect to the network. Even two mobile phones are connected, we can call that a network. Even, two mo even one mobile phone with a laptop is connected, that is also a network. Okay, then what is internet? Internet is the big brother of network. Means all these networks together creates the, creates the internet. All the, these networks together creates the internet. We learned that here. Internet is the infrastructure. It is network of networks. Network is basically two or more computers. When these computers are connected using wired or wireless media, either using wires or using wireless media, wire echo or wire network, either using wired or wireless media, we can connect these computers together. So what are the things that we can do by connecting? We can communicate and we can share the resources. Similar to our friend, we can share things with our friends. These computers can share things with its, its friends. The computer's friends are the network computers. Computer ke aru tama, me network ke ke na anit computers. They can also share the resources. They can also communicate. Right? And this internet is big brother. Internet is basically a network of network. It can provide a lot of services. Worldwide web is one thing. Email. Instant messengers, these are some other services. Let's learn about them. And in order to connect internet, he said that we need three things. Number one, internet connection from dialogue, Mobitel, SLT. So we need that. That is called ISP, right? Remember the name. So what is that name? Who's providing internet service? ISP, internet service provider. ISP providing us the internet facility, internet connection. Then we need, after ISP, we need a device, a mobile phone, a laptop or desktop. We need a device. So first is ISP, then a device, then you need a software. If ISP is there, if a device is there, if software programs are there, then we can connect to the internet. These software programs are, it's having different domains, right? Web, if you want to access website, you need web browser, Google Chrome, Firefox. How many of you are using Google Chrome? Can you raise your hand if you're using Google Chrome? Okay. Yes, I see four, five, six, oh, good. Six are using Google, seven, uh, eight, Eight are there in nine. Oh my god, I think all are using Google Chrome, it seems right. Have on Google Chrome, this currently okay. Nine are there using Google Chrome. Okay, then how many of you? Hey, are... I'm not uh, using Google Chrome, I'm using a uh, uh, So, how many of you are using uh, Microsoft Edge? Edge, Edge, or Internet Explorer? Yeah, others lower the hand. Who are using Microsoft Edge uh, or Internet Explorer? Yes, there are some using Microsoft Edge and Internet Explorer. Ah, closer to six are there. I the next three. Closer to six are, six are there. They are using Edge. Show. How many of you are using Firefox? Firefox. Others lower the hand. Ah, only four are using Firefox. Mm, only four are using it's five. Ah, only five. Around five hours in Firefox. So more popular is then Google Chrome. That is more popular option. There are some also, you know, Safari, Apple use Safari, Internet I Explorer. Use Brave. Ah, Brave. Yes, Brave is also one example. Very good. Brave is a recently introduced one. That is also an example. Correct. Okay, then these are web, web browsers, right? These are two. Check the, these are to access web pages. Then instant messengers, instant messengers are there. These instant messengers are used to, basically, instant messengers are used to uh, access messages. WhatsApp, Viber, Emo, Telegram, Messenger, Line, 
Yes, those are some examples for instant messengers. I hope all are using, right? WhatsApp, all are using. Viber, some. Emo, some. Telegram. Yes, most of you are using WhatsApp. Then what? Uh, then Zoom and, okay, Zoom. Zoom, MS Team. This is for teleconferencing. That is also facility of internet. All these are facilities. Web facility, messenger facility, social networking facility or social media. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, neither. And teleconferencing facility, Zoom, Skype, all these are internet related facilities, right? Okay, we discussed that as well. After that, we were discussing what, are, what is a website. So website is a collection of linked web pages under a single domain, right? Single domain, single name or single domain. What is a domain? A domain is a unique name. Okay, so please write down there. Domain is a unique name given to identify an organization or company in the internet. It is like, okay, so you know Pereira and Sons. What is Pereira and Sons? It's a, what is that? Where I am son is a cinema, is it? No. It okay. is what? It is a bakery, right? So then uh, KFC, what is that? KFC? A restaurant. It's a restaurant. Then, um, okay, then Leisure World. Water park? Yeah, it is a water park. You can say you can say it is a leisure park. Right, leisure world. Okay. Then uh, University of Colombo. That is a university. University. Then Vishaka College. A school. 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 Right. Okay. Likewise, in internet. Hmm, so there are companies, organizations, google.com, yahoo.com, nie.lk, right? So these are google.com, yahoo.com, nie.lk, and let's say, uh, oh, let's think like this. Okay, let's browse for, okay, Vishaka Vidyali, that is vishakavi.org. Okay, these are called domain names, right? All pages under one category is known as, you know, name make up category, you know, comma pages. All pages under one name is known as a website. I have already given this note, but if you don't have, you can write down this. What is a website? Website is a collection of interrelated pages under a single name or single domain. So what is a domain? Domain is basically a unique, unique name given to identify organization or company in the internet. It is similar to Pereira and Sons, KFC, McDonald's. So it is similar to that in University of Colombo, Vishaka College, similar to that, but not in the real environment. This is in the virtual internet environment. Then web page is just a single page. Web page it's a single page of that website. Can a website have one page? Is there one? Yes, can. Website can have one page. Can a website have like can a website get millions of web pages? Yes. Think about Facebook.com. It has millions. Millions of you cannot you cannot count every day a new page is added. When a new photo is added, a new page is added. When a new post is added, new page is added. And when a new group is added, new new page is added. Likewise, every day a new page is new pages are adding. Therefore, it is having millions of web pages. So, but some websites are there, it's only have one page, only one page. Some has millions. Some got millions. 
Sir, yes. how do we know how many web pages are there? We cannot actually say how many web pages are there in a website, but we can find the public web pages in the particular site. Okay, let's say you want to find out how many web pages in Vishaka College, how many public web pages, then you can go to Google and ask, hey Google, tell me site vishakavi.org, how many pages it says, 648 results roughly there are closer to 650 pages that is public but there can be some private pages those are not visible to us okay let's say it's royal college royal college columbus then this is the website domain you can just copy this domain right click copy uh, the link then you can say site colon then royal college dot lk site colon royal college dot lk it says 2640 pages that is roughly how many public pages are there not exactly right it is not exactly roughly dalavashi so closer to 3000 pages are there in royal college dot lk let's say how many pages in Facebook? Closer to 481 million. 481 million pages are there in facebook.com website. Closer to 481 million. How many are there in YouTube? In YouTube, 1.7 billion. See how large 1.7 billion. 1.7 billion unique pages, unique public pages, but there can be some private, unlisted, etc. But publicly, there are 1.7 billion. That much, right? Let's say Google 10th page. Even after the 10th page, you have 14th page, and after that, you will have you'll get. 18 page, likewise, after that you'll get 22 pages. Likewise, this is endless because it is about how many pages? One point closer to 1.7 billion results. So that is very large number. So how many pages with nie.lk? Nie.lk, closer to 2,900. That is National Institute of Education. NIE, Jataka Diakana, closer to 2,900 pages. Okay. Right. This is your notes. So, website is basically collection of linked web pages. Web page product, link pillar, on website. A collection of linked, interrelated. And you can say it related and linked, right? So this part was missing, but so please add if you have space. Interrelated and linked web pages under a single domain. Web page is a single text or media or video or image or anyway single domain. That is web page, right? Shall we move to the next one? Hello, are you still writing or? Uh, so can you give me five minutes, please? Five minutes? Oh my God, that means it's a Come on, only take two minutes, right? Just take two minutes, write down this. And if you need more time, take a screenshot. You can later write down or just watch the video and write down it later, right? And I'll give two minutes. Try to do that within two minutes.
Okay, that's enough, I guess. Take a screenshot. Later you can write down, right? Just take a screenshot in case if you need more time. So just take a screenshot. You can just write down. If not, watch the video and write it down. Anyway, except this part, the other things are added to your note, right? You can get that note from Ms. Lakmali. Except uh, this part, this highlighted part, the other things are already there in your note. You can get it from Ms. Lakmali. Okay, then uh, web browser, web browser and search engine, we already learned that. So no need to write down about that. Web browser is a software which is used to view the web page. Google Chrome, Opera, Safari, Firefox, these are software programs. They were installed. We need to install that in our computer and then only we can use it. But search engine, no need to install, that is available on click. When you go there, it's available for you. No need to download, no need to install. It is web-based. It is a website actually, but that special website will let you search other websites. The special website will let you search other websites. Okay, if you know the website, you can just type the address, either full address or the partial address. If you don't know the website, you need to search. So that is the theory, right? That is what you need to know. If you know the website, you can type and get that. If you don't know, you have to search. So let's see that practically. I need one of you guys to share the screen. So who's going to share the screen? Okay, Dhanuri. Thank you. Others can also get the chance. If you like, you can you, I can give you a chance to share. Okay, go to your web browser, Google Chrome. Oh, yes. You can go to Google Chrome. And can you see in Danuri's computer, Google Chrome is there and there was Edge also. Okay, Danuri, let's say you know the address. Address is in www.nie.lk. If you know the address, where are you going to type that address? Are you going to type that address uh, here or here? Right? Yes, you are going to type in the address bar. So I'll cover that in an orange color box. Normally, if you know the address, you have to type this in the orange color area. If you don't know the address, you have to write that in the green color area. Okay, www.nie.lk, you know it. Therefore, you can type it. Click there and type www.nie.lk. Enter. Then you will be directed to the National Institute of Education. Okay, because you knew that. Let's say you don't know something. Shall we open another tab? How to open a tab? Tab back up, open Karanapuram, plus mark. You can see there was a plus mark there. You can open a tab by using that. Close this tab for the moment. Just close this tab. Closing the tab can be done using this close button. Right. Close in a tab can be done using the close button. Uh, add in a tab can be done using this plus button. And X button for close, plus button for add in the tab. Okay, let's, uh, let's do something like this. I need you to access a web page. This time I need to access, um, okay, this time I need to access uh, the web page of, um, okay, web page of, Singapore National Zoo, web page of Singapore National Zoo. You don't know that, right? You don't know the name, exact address. Therefore, you need to search how you are going to search. Singapore, okay, space, then National Space Zoo. Okay, when you press enter, you can see it will give some results. Mm. And what is the correct one? From the given results, you have to find the correct one. Uh, is it Singapore Zoo? Just move, move down to the Padapalla Temple and Tavati on the banner. I think, uh, is it Singapore? Singapore Zoo in Wikipedia. Just move down to Padapalla Temple and. Uh, right. I think uh, the correct one is. Which is the correct one? 
just go go up again go up again uh, little more what about the first one i think is it the correct one no it is basically wildlife reserve mm. and i dot from something so let's go to the second one still you cannot find the proper website to that but you can go to the second one visit singapore.com no not that <coughs> mm. yes that one we can go there click there and go okay but that is not actually the website of singapore zoo okay accept all and okay you can see this is this are some information about singapore zoo if you don't know something you have to search search using google.com or duckduckgo.com you can use something to search Okay, I'll I'll give another exercise. I need you to search. Okay, I need you to search. Mm. Okay, I need you to search. Um, past papers, past papers from Royal College, Colombo. How can we search? Past papers from. Royal College, Colombo. How can we say? Shall I give the chance to some other? Okay, I'll give a chance to some other, right? How do you share some? I think some other can share. Past papers from Royal College, Colombo. Yes, yes, can anybody share? I'll help. How do you come in? Any one of you can share. Come on. Otherwise, I will give a chance back to the Danovi. Okay, go to Google, go to Google, Google Chrome, and then go to google.com website. First of all, you have to go to the google.com website because you need a search engine because you don't know the exact location. Google.com and press enter. Then you will be directed to google.com. In the google.com, you can type site, site, site. Okay, first of all, just search for Royal College. Royal College, search Karan, Royal College. Royal College, Colombo. Okay, this is the website. So, right click on the link, the first link. Can you right click on the first link? Right click. Okay, just right click. Right click. You have clicked. Hey, click Karan, right click. Can you open it? Right click and uh, right click copy link address. Okay, then go to the search. Apo search There you can type site site s i t e. Magdapa website ka then dana site colon colon ma karti deka tiene koi tiene ka the colon sign is uh, below letter p. Hari, colon ne hari. Then paste that one that you have copied. Take a paste karana. Right click and paste. Right. Now erase that HTTPS and double slash. You have to erase that. Right. Then put the space. Space a kapiana. Just put space site royalcollege.lk because you know the site now you need past papers just type past papers p a s t then space papers p a p e p a p e p e p a p e r s okay space and if you know the file type that can also be given i mean tika konna advance mehema dan nathu athi wala search kara file type just type file type File type F I L E without space. File type F I L E T Y P E T Y P E. Nah, space a nah. File type space a kak nah. No space. File type T I P E T I P E. Right. 
then you can type the extension now then liyanna pulang extension ekak we have learned about extensions too so let's type pdf kiyala nak api gahama denata for the moment just type pdf now colon and pdf file type colon pdf if you know the file type if you don't know the file type you can just keep as it is pdf so this is more specific more specific way of searching pdf past papers from royal college this is specific are the make accurate natang wala ni kan search karana you can search like past papers royal college so that is very simple everyone will do that but this method only a few knows search now search now okay you can see now you will get some past papers okay you are you will get some past papers but it is really limited from uh, site uh, or semicolon so can you can i edit this so can you just give me the permission just give me the permission i have asked you the permission to uh, control your stream just give the permission allow ki ne kata yanna mamma oya again remove control i didn't get the message okay now right okay here you have to type site colon so that is missing here uh, site colon royal college dot okay okay now you are getting that exactly with the semicolon the be calling hari the file type is should be colon now you are getting that you can see the pdf files you are getting some pdf files from royal college but not the actually the past papers but you are getting some pdf files all are from royal college can you see all are from royal college or you can if you want to get uh, like this mehemali wot makak koid site colon lk past papers then it will list past papers from all sri lankan website here muse uh, what is that my uh, stay uh, stay care or but something right dot lk so you can see lot of things lot of here pays institute and <coughs> applied so even from the universities so likewise and if you need grade 6 past papers or uh, you can type something like this grade 6 past papers uh file type pdf then you will get here uh, st john's college western music past paper then richmond college uh, western music one again um, health from richmond college lyceum some past paper from amal international and uh, from the education department in the sabaragama province uh, ethaksalava <coughs> uh, museums uh college that is for use laboratory safety mm, likewise you will get sri lankan grade 6 related things from the sri lankan websites right likewise you can get here this is grade 2 zahira but likewise different different things will be there so if you remove the past paper thing you will get grade 6 content from different schools okay just get the idea right anyway if you don't know something so what do you need to learn here if you don't know something you can search using google or search engine if you know something you can type the address if you don't know something you have to search that is what you have learned here so if you know it then type if you don't know then search right if you know it then type if you don't know then search okay uh, web browser is a special software used to access website and the pages so under that we can write if you know the resource address so that is called uniform resource locator o u r l please write that if you know the resource address then directly type it 
in the address bar of the web browser. Example URL. Example URL, I'll give you a few. Okay, let me give a few. Let's say site uh, LK uh, grade six file type um, equal PPD. I need PowerPoint presentation from some websites. Um, am I getting some? PPT or can say file type PPTX. Mm. No, I'm not good enough. So let's let's get the PDF file type PDF. Most common format in the internet is PDF. Okay, yeah. Self learning pack. Copy link address, and this is called a URL. If you know the URL, you can directly type. Oh, there is a big URL. Sorry. So let me use a small one. Otherwise, it will take a uh, lot of time to write these things. Mm, let's see this one. Copy link address. I think it's a short URL. Yes. And then this is uh, Musius College Mathematics grade six english medium something this is also a url these are urls right let's remove the underline make it smaller okay even if you type uh, http colon double slash www.nie.lk that itself is also a URL. If you know the address, you can type that in the address bar. Right. Then if you if you don't know the exact address of a resource use a search engine okay i have given examples here just write down these two now Quickly write down, right? I need to explain some interesting facts about some other things also. How do we, like, what are the important websites? So what are the other important websites that you need to know? I'll explain that. That will be a really interesting lesson. So stay connected. That will be really, really interesting one. You will learn a lot of new things today. Therefore, stay connected right don't leave earlier stay connected that part is very important okay let's do like this can you take a snapshot of this screenshot of this and write down later then i can explain more right just shall we take a screenshot of this or oh, photo of this then you can later write down this, right? Otherwise, like it will take a lot of time to write in purpose. Then a screenshot take a photo take a video Okay, so finish taking this screenshot. Okay, take a screenshot or take a photo. Right. So let's see. Right. You are given, okay, so what are the special websites so that you can access? 
So these are actually the browsers. We learn about them. So these are the special websites that you can. So these are the browsers that you can use to browse the software. Opera, Firefox, Internet Explorer, Edge. So all these are free, right? All these are free. That is the advantage. Chromium, Safari, Tor, Brave. Brave is not here. So these are all web browsers. All are free. Right. Then the important websites. Google.com, you have already learned. Then one important thing is uh, Wikipedia. Earlier days, we had something called Encarta. Encarta. That was from Microsoft. That is, a, that is called Encyclopedia. Have you used Encyclopedia before? Encyclopedia. So what's the difference between Encyclopedia and a dictionary? Encyclopedia and a dictionary. Dictionary is giving the word meaning, right? Encyclopedia will give more descriptive information about something. Dictionary can have any meaning like a vitrite. Dictionary will explain the meaning and the usage. But an encyclopedia, encyclopedia vistara godadana puddle. Okay, how many of you know about ISS? ISS, International Space Station. Can you raise your hand if you know? Okay, Sasiru knows. Who else? Tinari knows. Right. Do you like to learn about that? What is this in ISS? Okay. So let's learn, right? So how to learn? You can type ISS. Then you can search Wikipedia. Wikipedia is an encyclopedia which will give you more details. You can say ISS, site colon, Wikipedia. ISS site colon Wikipedia ISS site colon Wikipedia dot You can type this. I, I'll send you the link. I'll send you the text to you. You can also type this uh, in your google.com, right? Google.com. Don't go, uh, go to the uh, you have to first go to your web browser. After that, visit google.com. Search engine and then in the search engine type this. Then you will get this result. And the first result is about the International Space Station. Let's go and see what are there. Okay, that is ISS, International Space Station. Uh, Station. So this is view in 2000, view taken in uh, public view in, uh, which is taken, public view is taken 2021. And it, it is launched in, 1998, even before you born, right? Even if before your birthday, maybe you you all are like uh, grandmoms and grandfathers in your previous birth when this was launched. When this was launched, you were, you were like grandmothers, grandfathers. You were wondering what is happening in the world, right? At that time and uh, maybe you died. <laughs> Neither. Maybe you have died uh, getting a shock. So what is really going on? <laughs> and born in, uh, born again in the world. And now you are exploring the world. And now, you know, the world is wonderful. The technologically developed. And it is launched 23 years ago. So this uh, space station is basically, so these are important. It, when it is fully true, fully true, there will be seven members. Right? Fully true. They can fully true again. They are correct. Seven people can be there inside this. Conveniently, seven people can live. That is basically, uh, you can see the mass. It is 444,615 kg. Oh my God. It's a 400,000 kg. It's a really big giant. 73 meters long and the width is 198 109 meters so 100 and 100 100 by 100 it's like closer to 100 by 100 so that is a considerable space it is taking considerable space 
but this is not the living space. This is actually the entire shape will take that space 109 and this side 173. So then uh, actually uh, you can see the atmosphere is having nitrogen and oxygen basically in the atmosphere nitrogen and oxygen is there that is synthetically created and uh, so basically the altitude uh, how long from the earth so it is 400 kilometers away from the earth up it already a kilometer higher see a cat in here 400 kilometers away from the earth and it is flying 7.66 kilometers per second that means 27,600 kilometers per hour. So I think a normal vehicle in highway can run 100 kilometers per hour. 100 kilometers per hour still, it is a very big speed. 100 kilometers per hour, but this is running to 27,600 kilometers per hour. Go the speed, 27,600 kilometers per hour. So it can basically travel 15 times orbits per day. Per day, Davasakata, per day, it can travel 15 times around the world. Orbits per day. 15 orbits per day. Right? The first day, if you have been there, if you are here in the space station, first day will be interesting because you are going to travel 15 times around the Earth. Right? So then, uh, actually, uh, so... Uh, how many days uh, in orbit? In orbit, it was uh, closer to 23 years traveling around, right? So, so long, long duration, right? Then uh, actually, uh, it, it has traveled closer to 133 rounds, 133,000 rounds around the Earth. Okay, that is about that. So that is the summary. But you can just go through and read the article. So you can learn a lot, of, uh, a lot about the International Space Station. The next visible day, you can go to your mobile phone. There's a nice application called um, ISS Detector. Mobile phone. It says uh, within three days, 23 hours and 25 minutes, it will be visible to Sri Lanka uh, clearly. Next three days, you have to wait three days. Three days means 26, 27, 20, uh, 27, 28, 29. Then 23 hours, you have to add them. That also uh, 23 hours means uh, 24 hours. That is basically closer to four days. So it will be visible to you on 30th September around 7.25 p.m. in the sky. Right, 30th September, uh, 7.25 p.m. The sky, if you watch that, you can see that uh, using your naked eye. Right? So that is basically, and, and uh, so if, you are, if you are eager to watch that, don't wait. You can just check ISS Live, and there are live videos from International Space Station. It shows how ISS can see us. Right? ISS Live. So you can just see how it is traveling and also the live streaming coming from the International Space Station. Uh, this is uh, this is because of the internet, right? Because of the internet, we can access International Space Station also. Can you see how it is traveling? And all, so this is the current location. We will not see that today. Right, we will not see that today. It will take some more days to it to it's moving 15 times. Okay, but a palos para can have a peoding and it a peoding and it are the best puna king hatha king with it. You can watch these videos. This is a live uh, streaming from that live streaming from the ISS. You can watch that. Visit these sites and see ISS live. Okay. You can watch that, right? ISSlive.com. There are a lot of websites to watch that videos. And uh, another one, if you go to the maps.google.com, here I'm sending you another link, maps.google.com. Right? You can just uh, browse. Okay, let's let's do something. Uh, I uh, can I know? 
Sarah C, can you hear me? Sarah C? Yes, sir. Okay, Sarah C, can I know your location? So, what's your hometown or where you are now? Foreigner. Okay, let me. Vavala, right? Yes, sir. Uh, it's in foreigner. Search in that. Okay. Is it closer to the base hospital, foreigner? Yes. Is it closer to the base hospital, foreigner? Or? Yes, yeah. sir. Yes. So then, uh, okay, I, I'm, I'm now closer to this place that we are telling. Sri Pali School, is it nearby? Yes, sir. Okay, uh, where should I move? Should, should I move downwards or upwards? This direction, this direction, when I go this direction, in here you can see public cemetery and the base hospital for Anna. Hospital like a better than my unknown, a street party school like a better thing, top of color than the path to hospital direction or the other direction. Yes, you want to tell me? Why did I come in? I get it. I'm just asking, okay? Street party school is there. So are you nearby Sri Pali school? So Leeds International is there. Are you nearby that? Yes, you have to tell. Sri Pali better, sir. Sri Pali school like a hospital like a better. Then I think any better. Town like a better than the Pallad. Any better, yeah. Town like a better. Town like a better. Town like a better. Town like a better. Right, okay. I'm moving there. Then, uh, okay, there are two by roads, Vavala, Gangoda Road. The other one is Wilmarte Pereira Road. Yeah, Vavala. This road? Vavala Gangoda Road, sir. Okay, then uh, you, you are crossing a bridge here. Actually, there's a bridge. And after that, there's a junction. So likewise, so if you want, you can really... Go a virtual tour. You can click on the middle of this. Okay, let's click on the Vavala Road. Then I'll get this picture. Then I can really, I think you can, is this the road? Yes, sir. Right. Sir? Yes? Sir, can we connect our VRs and Z? Yes, of course. You can come in the VR and see. You can virtually go there. Yeah. I did this for searching about my ho my father's hotel. Ah, great. Then you can see there are some uh, junctions and uh, so it is divided into two parts and you can you can just move this way or this way. So likewise, it is possible, right? So all these roads are. So you can see this is 360 degrees. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Sir, sir, uh, you can find also when you go in the Google Earth icon. Yes, Google Earth. But the thing is, like, uh, this is more convenient as you can see the map view and you can see the satellite view. Yeah, you can see the satellite view also. Uh, this is the satellite view, then you can really find where are your home or likewise. Okay, let's say something like this. Your <laughs> parents are, so they think you are, they are, okay, let's say they are traveling in Jaffna and you cannot go there due to some reason. Maybe you have examination or you're suffering from free or something. Because of that, you couldn't go. Then you are unhappy. But uh, the simple thing is you can just virtually go there and even advise your parents about the trip. Okay, now virtually you are in Jaffna, right? Let's go to the Dutch Fort. So let's say you call your mom and the mom said, uh, we are now going to Dutch Fort. Okay, now you are also going to the Dutch Fort and see, uh, we ask this Dutch Fort, uh, this is the Dutch Fort, right? Then uh, you can ask from your mom, 
Um, um, uh, you are, are you uh, are you nearby this uh, Saint Anthony's uh, Chapel? Likewise, you can ask. So, are you nearby this Saint Anthony's Chapel? Saint Anthony's Chapel. Take a longer day. Me, what is happening? Pull up. That's why we are not going to say that we Mom, your mother is saying, "Let's. We are searching for a hotel to take lunch." Ah, mom, you cannot find hotel nearby. You have to then go there into the Jaffna. You have to pass the Jaffna port and go to the city because nearby there are no shops. Likewise, you can tell. Right? So that is possible because you, you can virtually travel. I have virtually traveled my uh, one of my uh, loving destination that is Norway. Right? So it's interesting. You can travel over the world because these days it is very difficult to travel. But you can go to any country. Norway yeah. or Australia or anyway. Yes? Sir, but there are hundred places in Google Maps too. Sorry? But there, there are hundred places in, places in Google Maps too. Yeah, there are some places like that. But anyway, uh, so you can just go and see. That anyway, you have to experience. Some places are missing. Like some places are not there. Uh, due to some security reasons or due to the remote conditions, some places are not there, but some places are, most of the places in Sri Lanka are there in the maps. Okay, just go and see that. And another thing is, uh, another thing that I want to mention is YouTube. That is also a very important website that you need. We discuss about maps, Google, Wikipedia, YouTube. YouTube is important because if you wish to become, let's say your ambition is to be a doctor, then start your journey now itself. Go to YouTube and search uh, medicine for kids. You can even start when you are in kindergarten level or grade one, grade two, you could have started this. So there are videos for kids medicine for kids if you love to learn medicine so you can just learn about that right and not only that engineering for kids engineering for kids if you want to become an engineer you can say even nasa is offering uh, some videos engineering for kids introduction to engineering nasa for kids you can start learning that there are a lot of resources. Even entrepreneurship, if you want to start your own business one day, you can start now itself. Dreaming about that is not enough. Just work for that. For work, you can start now itself. So you can find a lot of resources in the YouTube and start learning now itself. You can watch 360 degree videos. Yes, you can watch 360 degree videos. You can watch inside our body. Right? Inside our body, certain surgeries, virtual you can go inside the body, right? inside our body, Excuse 3D me. videos or the 360 videos are there, right? So just see these things, very important. You can learn a lot about us and a lot about the subjects. Okay, with that, I'll stop for today. So please enjoy your journey. So we will continue. There are nice enough, uh, like we have discussed few, but there are a lot of websites that we need to discuss. And I'll be doing that next day. Then good night. See you all next week. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.